So, uh, you guys want to talk a little shop? Let's talk a little shop. It's one of my jobs, one of my roles, if you will, tasks, is to manage shipping. And within that, I get a bird's eye view of something that I believe is correctly referred to as on-demand shipping. It means more or less that my actual inventory doesn't represent the bulk of my transactions. Speaking that in English is I don't usually have the stuff on hand that I sell directly. I do have some items and my employer as well as the corporate has certain requirements for the number and the types of things that I have on hand. But by and large, by and large, do I say that a lot? I say that a lot. Mostly though, the things that I have are ordered next day, believe it or not, from North Carolina. Now I'm down in Florida. Logistically, that made uh, things very difficult last winter, which was a very harsh winter for the Carolinas, and it was snowed in. More or less, a event in a far off location stopped my ability to make money for several days. So uh, it's kind of interesting, and it's sort of Today I'm kind of wondering how many uh, how many things are like that. You know, is is food on demand shipping? You know, how how much of the transactions that occur at a grocery store are direct or are at a very very short uh, leash? Just sort of makes me wonder. My grandfather, whom I may have learned a bit of my I don't know prepping from always had just an absolute pantry full of food and it was from his time working with the Teamsters and he always decided to keep a month or two of food this was in the 70s and 80s he would keep a month or two of food on hand in an unheard of time to do so just in case the Teamsters went on strike I mean that was his uh, that was his WROL the Teamsters striking anyway just a little food for thought dose today. Hope you all are doing well. I am doing well, so uh, thanks for listening to my BS. Talk to y'all later.